Hi, I'm Tori Shack, a personal fitness trainer with over five years experience. I'm going to help you get fit by telling you how to work out around an injury. So injuries are pretty common. We've got two arms and two legs, okay? That means, for instance, that let's say I have a shoulder injury. That does not affect my legs, okay? So you cannot use your arm as an excuse not to do cardio. However, you do need to be aware of your injury and make sure not to do any kind of exercises that's going to exacerbate or make them worse and follow medical advice. One of my biggest pet peeves as far as my clients are concerned is ridiculous excuses. My finger hurts. Really? What do you need your finger for for working out? Okay, you have all these other fingers and everything else, okay? So my clients know they don't come to you with any excuse unless it's a really good one. So what happens is, is you start using this excuse and then this excuse and that excuse and it becomes too easy to not work out. So you want to make sure not to cheat yourself. So if you have a legitimate injury, something that you really know is not okay and you need to go to a doctor for it, then yes, follow the medical advice. But there are ways you can work around the injury. Even if you have a leg injury, you can probably do some other exercises like on the recumbent bike, something moderate where there's no, um, where there's no pounding. But you're going to want to talk to your doctor about that. The most important thing when, uh, if you get injured is to use common sense. Probably what happened was you weren't using common sense when you got injured. Or maybe you were showing off in the gym, using a little ego. I don't know. I don't know. Be very careful. Know your limitations. Um, and make sure that you use your head. It's very important that if you sustain an injury that lasts anything longer than three days or swells or is black and blue or is throbbing, seek proper medical advice. Don't fool around with your body these days. You just don't know. Go to the doctor, get it checked out, and follow the medical advice your doctor's giving you as far as when you can work out again and how to proceed with workouts. Do not Google it. Do not become your own WebMD. Really, if it's really a problem, go, go see a real live doctor. Injuries do happen. Um, it's what you do with the injury that's going to determine how successful you are with your workout. So don't get discouraged. Injuries happen. Just if you need to take a couple days off of working out, then you do. But just get back on it once you get once you come off of it. Um, sometimes might need to take a longer time off of it. You know, maybe a month. But still, make sure it, you don't let it completely discourage you mentally, or else, you know, the game's blown. So in general, a really good way to avoid injury or to be aware of your body is to do a proper warm up and cool down. Um, and especially if you ha do have an injury, you want to really make sure you warm up properly so that you kind of get all your other muscle groups active prior to doing any kind of a workout. Um, and cooling down and stretching so that you avoid any other injury or secondary injury to a, um, a secondary muscle group due to overcompensation. So just be careful, use your head, Take it easy, don't get discouraged, seek a doctor if you need to, and uh, you know, do the best you can. Thanks for watching. If you want any information on these topics covered, please click the link below or any of the links above. Please also rate, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any additional ideas for workout videos, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. Peace out.